the pampler. Going to town. In this video, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cover a welder that I have here. This is by the company Tampler. I think is how you would say that, T Tamplera. And what this is, this is a four-in-one welder setup. I'm just gonna show you how it came in to me right here. I have some little bit of accessories here that I also um, purchased with this welder. I have the Ironton Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. I highly recommend this helmet. You can see how this thing works. It has a, you know, a panel here, a delay. It's got a couple of features in here to kind of like adjust the darkness. It's got a mode on the back. That helmet is definitely worth it. Very affordable and worth it and highly recommend. I have some welding gloves and I have been practicing some welding here. That's why you're seeing a, a cool little whatever I call that. And just let me go over the welder itself. Came in in this box right here. It was packaged very nicely in the box. It had none of this was included with it this is some of my welding stuff you know it's made for a 220 or a 110 outlet i do love the fact that they give you the step down to the 110 that's always a handy feature to have in the actual welder itself but let me just go ahead and here's the um user manual here let me open up the user manual and i can explain it a little easier what you get with it you know you get the unit itself right here you get the welding torch which is you know this thing right here that part you get the welding holder so this is made for stick welding or MMA I think they call it arc welding also and then you're going to get the ground clamp this ground clamp and then you're going to have to reverse the polarity and run the ground clamp for that and then if I want to run this I'll switch this one out there uh, then you get the conversion line you get a transparent hose and you're asking what does this hose go to well if you're running argon gas there's a fitting right back here and you're gonna run it right into that gas fitting. Very cool that they offer that and they give you all the stuff you need right there to make that that gas work. By the way, this comes with a one millimeter like conductor on it that you have to remove. I removed it. They give you the little wrench and everything and I put the 0.8 on there. It gives you two of, two of those and it gives you two porcelain nozzles. You will need to replace that. The V wire feed, that is in here and the gnarled V wire feed, there's another one that's got gnarls on it. It's inside. It came already installed in the unit I, so I didn't have to do anything. And flux wire, I do have the flux wire already installed. And then, you know what, the user manual. And the flux wire that they sent with it looks to be a self-shielding flux cord wired, and it's the size is 0.8 mil. And you know, it's one kg. But then check this out, everybody. You lift this up, and it kind of like breaks it all down for you here. You're gonna, you're gonna take this off, slide your flux wire on there, and this does have the gnarled one on there, so I didn't have to change anything, but they give you a lot of like instructions on how to make it work. And the number one use that I'm gonna be using this for is using it as a MIG welder, a gasless MIG welder. I don't have any gas and I don't wanna have any gas, but I'm not, the, the welding that I'm doing is basic kind of like DIY around the house. I'll actually show you something I made before this video. Check this thing out, this is a camera mount for a 360 camera right here. I have a 360 camera on my kayak. I welded a bar onto there and then inserted this pipe down that holds that on there. So that bar is welded to this plate and that plate screws into the kayak. So I've already made my first thing with this and I painted it. Some of the basic specs on this thing, it's a, you know, it's a phase, it's a 110 or a 220, a 50 Hertz or a 60 Hertz. Rated currents up to 19.2. Rated uh, powers 2.5. Uh, current adjustment can go MIG 3 to 120 and MMA 30 to 110. And welding thickness up to one inch of metal of where it is. Uh, voltage adjustment range 15 to 21. No load voltage 55 plus or minus 5. Electrode uh, diameter, so that's the wire, can go 0.8 to 1.0 millimeters that is you know what they give you some basic operations here and like i said i have I've, i'm not claiming to be any type of special like professional welder here but i have welded on jobs and just kind of like kind of self-taught mostly diy type projects and that's exactly what this thing is going to be great for the fact that i have a stick welder and a mig welder is amazing so let me go ahead and set this up and get a little scene set up for y'all and show you how well this thing works let's put this thing to turn it on you're just going to hit that switch right there it has a kind of little bit of a delay so since i'm not running the gas look at the front right here you can see where it says mig mma and lift tig so there's the different uh versions you can go you can see i can go through it there i can adjust my amperage on the mma 
but and the lift tig i think is something completely different and you need to buy a different fitting to make the lift tig work but we're going to use the mig and there's gas right down here and gasless so you're going to go i'm putting it on point so 0 0.8 gasless and then i'm going to run it right at about 14 0.5 volts on that and that's uh amps so that'd be 55 so i'm on 55 and 14.5 there and the dial right here can turn it up and down so that's flux wire coming out i'm gonna go ahead and clip this off pull that out got rid of that so first thing i'm gonna do is just tack it on there now that it's on there I can go ahead and remove the clamp, I mean remove the magnet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run right down through there like this. So here we go. Looks like I need to turn it up. One thing is, the, the wire is coming out pretty fast. See how I put a bead down through there? It's obviously not the cleanest of beads, but you know what? It works pretty darn good when you look at it. You can't break it with your hand. Ooh, that's still hot, by the way. Don't touch that. <laughs> that burned. <laughs> yeah, so you can see right there how the, how the bead went down. That's it for that. And like I said, you just pull a trigger. And you can see that comes out. I wish I could uh, adjust that. I'm going to look at some more settings on how to adjust this down. But I think I think that thing works really good. Let me go ahead and throw a stick in it and see if we can do a quick stick tack on it and see what it looks like. Using the wire well. So that's using the flux core. And you could see how nicely that welds with the flux core. Obviously, you know, I, that's, that could be a lot cleaner weld. But I'll keep practicing and kind of get back into the flow of using this. Here's something that I don't use as much. So I put in the stick, um, the arc weld attachment. And you want to go into the, the positive here and then put your clamp into the negative. And I'm going to run it on 130 amps. And then you're going to go from MIG down to MMA. So I'm on MMA right here. So technically, I should be good to go. And I'm just going to like tap onto it and see how this thing works. So let's try it as a stick welder now. Right, we have it all set up here. I have the stick ready to go. We're going to line it up. Oop, there it was. That worked great. I can tell y'all what, I have been nothing but impressed with this little welder. So that was using the arc welding right there and that seemed to work just as good as the, the MIG welder. I went ahead and used the MIG, the wire welder, and then I also used the stick welder to show you how well both of them work. I've been nothing but very impressed with this. You can see my weld there. There's the stick weld right there on that little pole. And then that flat iron, I did the, the wire, the flux wire welding and that stick right there. So you can see the difference right there. And obviously Obviously, you know, you can look at this and tell that I'm not a professional welder. Like I said, I have very limited experience, pretty much self-taught on this. Yeah, that welded great. Same way with that pole right there too. Very impressive on that. So this would be a welder that's kind of like good for everything. You know, you can run, I can run stick welds, which is arc welding, or I can run this MIG right here. And I already tell y'all, I'm going to have a lot of other projects that I'm going to be doing with this thing. Because I think any DIY person just around the house or fixing things, I've got a muffler that I need to weld. I've got a few little projects that I want to weld. Everything you need is contained in this kit. You will have to get you a helmet. I recommend that Ironton helmet. Get one of those and you should be ready to go and a set of gloves. There it is, everybody. That's all I got today on the Tampler MIG MMA Lift TIG Gas and Gasless Welder. See you all in the next video.